Howdy folks, look what arrived in the posty office today. Our new inverter board. This is kind of part three to our microwave saga. Just a little backstory. Uh, a couple of weeks back, uh, our micro over the range microwave crapped out. Uh, so I did a video on what's involved in pulling one of those things out of the cabinetry. The second part of the video was taking it out and then fall tracing why the fuse was blowing and we traced it to this inverter board. Um, the rectifier was direct shorted on the input side. Tried another rectifier, it still blew. So there was some fault in here. I was going to start throwing parts in, but once I started looking at parts and what uh, I could get a replacement board for, it just made more sense to get the board. So what we're going to do today is look at the new board and we're going to put it in and see if it works and see if all this was worthwhile or if it was a complete waste of time. So I got this from a place I've used before. I'm located in Canada, so I prefer to get stuff from Canada if I can. No import fees and all that good stuff. But this is from an eBay seller. Um, the name of the place is TV Eco Parts. And I've purchased from them before and really had great service, really happy with them. So, you well, know, it's just a little plug for them. But, of course, that's just my subjective and anecdotal experiences with them. But they seem really, like, really good guys. And they take the time to answer questions. You know, before I bought this, I asked some questions because you can't find the part number, this part number anymore. F66456G02AP. And, yeah, they, you know, it's been superseded so many times. This microwave's, what, 11 years old, I think? Uh, oh, he sent me a new fuse. Uh, didn't charge me for this. So thank you for that. And here's the board. Like I said, it's not the exact same number, but he said it would work. Uh, main thing he was concerned with was the color of the um, PWM input from the control board. This isn't the high voltage input. This is what tells the board uh, what output power to be at. And he said if you had the orange, uh, this one with the green would work. But anyways, that's you know, not really revel relevant. Uh, what you're probably more interested in is the board number. It's F66457R308P. And slightly different, but mostly the same. Um, you know, there's just looking at it real close, there's just some slight component differences, the layout, um, but for the most part it's almost identical. So put that in. Uh, what I might do is I might probe a couple of things on here just to see what the values are on a good working board compared to the old one. I might still buy components to fix this or try to fix it just as a backup. And you know one thing I learned after talking to the fellow there at uh, the TV Eco Parts was you know these these over the range microwaves have an inherent flaw and that is um, as you recall when I took it apart you know this board lives inside this this uh, little cooling container there's an intake fan that's constant that's blowing air across it keeping all this cool the transformer but of course because it's an over the range microwave this air that's bringing in is often moisture and grease laden and you can just see that on the board. Uh, you can see this is all discolored. Um, it was really furry with like greasy fuzz, dust. This fan was completely coated with dust. And yeah, not really the best situation <laughs> blowing lace uh, moisture laden air across a high voltage generator board. So he, he had mentioned, and my wife usually does this and I do it, whenever we're cooking over the stove and using the microwave, always using the exhaust fan uh, on the microwave at full power. So most of the steam and greasy air and whatnot is being drawn up through the microwave, the bottom vents, and none of it's curling around and getting in that top upper vent where the two fan intakes are for the magnetron and the inverter board. So that was a big thing he suggested, which uh, we do, but a tip for anyone else, if you've got one of these over-the-range microwaves, if you're running the microwave and you're cooking at the same time, make sure you've got the cook fan on full uh, exhaust power 
so not much of the moisture laden air is getting up into the intake that cools your uh, electronic components inside the microwave. So I'm going to get this into the microwave and we'll test it out and see if uh, this has fixed it. The new board is in. I've got it in the cooling housing. Now, I don't know if you saw that other video, but everything in here was so greasy. So I've taken all this stuff out and cleaned it. This fan now runs fine on low. Uh, it was just really gummed up with grease and the sintered bushings were quite dry. So I lubed the sintered bushing uh, cases. They've got a felt insert in them. So I just put a few drops of oil back in the felt to give the uh, bushings some lubrication. Uh, the only thing we don't have hooked up right now is the fan for the magnetron. Uh, that's what these plug into, but I'm just going to run it for a short little time. So we shouldn't overheat anything. Uh, one of the main things that's important is that the board, the high voltage inverter board is grounded. That's what this is for. Uh, when we put the case top back on, uh, it screws into this bracket. So this bracket is what grounds that board. And again, coming over on the front side, uh, you remember how dirty all this was. So I've cleaned all that. I've cleaned the louvers all up and just cleaned all the grease out of it. Another little fix I'm doing while I have this apart, this is the top cover that goes over it. It's got the two little screw locations. Once it's in the cabinet, this is what those screws thread into. And it's just a thin little metal plate. And I've been threaded, there was maybe two, two and a half threads in there for these, you know, these uber long, I think this is an M5 uh, screw to go through. And yeah, the one was stripped, as you may have noticed when we were taking it out. So what I'm doing is I'm going to put a beefier M6 in. I thought of just re-threading it, but I'm going to take it one step further. And I'm actually going to solder a nut on the back side of that. So we've got some proper you know, thread for this screw to bite into when we put it back in the cabinet. So you may want to check that on yours when you've got it out. Ah, it's a little more like it. And here's the other side then. Yeah, I think that's going to hold a little bit better than those two and a half threads. Before when we tried this, if you recall, as soon as we hit the start button it blew the fuse. So hopefully the new board will this. So we'll just put a mug of water in there. Um, I, again, I don't have the fan, the cooling fan hooked up for the magnetron over there, so I'm not going to run this too long. So we'll just go one minute, but we won't even go that long here. And we'll hit start. So again, keeping the fingers crossed, the fuse doesn't blow right away. No, it's not. Fan for the high voltage inverters on. And we'll hit stop. I don't want to run it too long without the magnetron getting cooled. And let's check what the water feels like here. Oh yeah, nice. It's getting warm. Corgi's happy. More importantly, however, is the wife is probably going to be happy. Yeah. So again, if you've got one of these, especially if it's in the, one of these Panasonic converter models, as per that fellow's recommendation, when you're using the microwave, if you're cooking over the range, have your fan on high. Have it on that super speed so you're drawing as much of the moisture and grease laden air up through the bottom intake vents and not as much as cascading over top and being drawn past that front louver across both the inverter board and uh, the fan drawing it in for the magnetron. Uh, oh, by the way, that board, it was 50 Canadian, and I think shipping was 10 bucks. So $60 to repair this, kept it out of the landfill, and most importantly, didn't have to get a new over-the-range inverter Panasonic microwave. Uh, as I had said before, the replacement model for this one's about 800 Canadian. 60 bucks or 800, you decide. Cheers, folks. Happy microwaving.